Hello guys, uh, in this video I will try to show you the difference between position trading and versus investing. Now position trading is the same as swing trading. It means it's the same as swing trading. It means they are looking for long trends. Now swing trading um, is looking for short trends okay this is just uh, uh just to show you just a little bit at least you will not be confused now swing trading here we have short trend now what does it mean short trend it means you follow the stocks for days for weeks or some months okay this is swing trading now for Position trading is the long trends. I will give you an example. Okay, this is uh, a company called um, BIIB, which is Biogen IDEC, which is a biotechnology um, uh, drug company. Okay, people who wants to um, uh, to trade this uh, this company, they do what? they see the resistance here and they put a line when the stock when the stock stops and go down and then when it stops again and it goes it begin to go up they will wait until the price goes through now when they buy when they buy they buy for a long many many months okay it means here just the duration of time okay they see that there is a trend beginning of a trend and they think that this trend will go for months it's not it's not for one day or two or three like like um, swing trading okay but they think that the stock will go uh for a long long um Maybe because of the news uh, of the company is doing very well. Maybe there is like um, uh, earnings that are each each um, each quarter is very good and is more and more and more. That's why that's why they stay there, okay? And they put their uh, stop loss down, okay? Stop loss because they don't want to to get kicked out very quick from the from the trade they want to stay in the trade until they are sure that there is no money like here when the stock stops here now how do they know the the guys this position traders that this that the stock stops you, you see it just in the you see it in the price the price here for example it reaches 240 dollars a share and then it's going down so they should decide either to stay longer or to sell because the trend has finished okay the the strength of the trend has finished so they should uh, they should exit the trade but since they buy from here which is 160 now here it goes to 240 they can sell at 230 or 220 okay they could they could sell here now when they sell, like for example, they sell, they put a stop loss, for example, here. Now this stop loss, it could be 235 or 230. They lose like $10 here, but they know that but they know that the stock has stopped going up and it's time to uh, get out from this stock and find another stock. Okay? So they can use the technical analysis, they can use other indicators like um, like uh, moving average okay and let's say uh, add an indicator let's say I will give you a moving uh, moving average okay let's say where is this uh, moving average uh, okay so th they see the moving average is going because the the, the price is uh, the price is um, is 
ranging in 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 some in some range here and then they see that there is the price go down the line and then the price goes up the line it means above the line so they will stay until here some people who are following what we call a moving average they will sell in this in 217 or 220 okay they follow just the line because the line gives you uh, the sum of the last of the last uh, the close a lot of closes and the line is working like this so the people they see just uh, the line if the, if the price is going is going up and it is far away from the line they are they are okay they don't do nothing they just follow the line follow when when it, it, it will go down they put the stop loss here when okay they put the stop loss here how do they know because of the line okay and since the the stock price here as you see it here let's 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 make it big let's make it big okay they buy here when the when the price goes up and when the price goes down the line they sell here it could be 216 okay but as you know they buy here 153 216 it is about 75 dollars a share it means they have a big chunk of profit from this stock okay it, you tell me for example the stock goes up and then it goes down below here they will sell they will not wait because they are trading they are not investing they don't care about this company if if the company is good or bad they care about the price this is how the people make money okay we go again to the to the um, to the uh, position trading now let's say how the investing or the investors do now the investors what they do let's say here we take uh, yearly okay what, what the investors do they follow some companies yearly and they see if the company has it changed in its earning in its size for example the f this year which is 2011 this company has made a big uh, a big growth okay from 67 dollars to 110 now since they see the big this big candlestick they search for the company what did happen to this company now if they know they do a lot of research about this company earnings and a lot of stuff management a lot of stuff and then they buy and they hold for many years okay for example they buy the first year 60 uh, like 110 and after three years it to 206 most of these investors they have too much money it's not 10,000 or 20,000 okay so the investors most of the investors have millions of dollars so they should they should stay in companies that they know very much they know they know their what you call fundamentals okay they know fundamentals they know uh, the earnings management and a lot of stuff okay uh, people who are interested and they can seek help because these investors they have too much money and they ask maybe help from professional to spot for them companies that the growth is very good now when they feel that a company like this one um, is doing very good in these years they stay here for many years until they get what they want okay now you see that this company here stays from let's say here from 2000 2010 10 years this company has done nothing it means it is not just you invest you put your money in a company and you wait 10 years without any result people they want to see a spike like this candlestick they should see that the company has changed the price has changed now when the price has changed it means company has changed in its earnings or the mutual funds are buying this company now when they are buying 
you just look at the price and it, 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 it shows you the clear thing okay so let's go to investing now so the in investing in general it means you should know the company you are investing in it's not like position trading position trading you see that there is a trend you follow the trend when the trend ends you exit okay according to any indicator that you use some people um some people would use indicators some people like me i use the resistance and support lines and uh support lines okay i uh, hope uh, this uh video has uh clarified the two kinds of trading the position trading and the investing and um most of the time if you have more money you should go to investing if you are just having a little money or uh, small money you should go to position trading now uh, this is just in general uh, in general the difference if you have any question or something please uh, write and comment and like the video or send me a private uh, uh, message thank you very much